Okay. Anyone else who jumps in now can jump in with our warm up. But we are just going to get the core engaged. So standing nice and relaxed, I want us first of all to think about squeezing our belly button back towards our spine and then sucking it up towards our rib cage. Nice and tight, nice and we should feel it engaged, but we're not holding our breath. From here, we're gonna take our arms out. We're gonna isolate, we're gonna twist. Not too fast, just nice and slowly. We're gonna twist it side to side. Knees are soft, we're not locking out the knees, and our hips should not be moving because right now we're just moving our upper body. We're keeping that core squeezed. Hoping that just from doing this, you should be able to feel it start to ache, even just from swinging side to side. That is what it feels like to have our core super duper engaged. I want you to remember this feeling and I want you to copy and paste it into every exercise that we do today. Good, arms up to the ceiling. Again, taking that time just to squeeze your belly button towards your spine and then pull it up towards your rib cage, almost like you are desperate for a wee and you're trying to hold it in. That's what it should feel like, as funny as it sounds. We're gonna take it over side to side. Again, we're not popping that hip out, it is the upper body doing all the work. You should feel it squeezing in your sides and as your abs are working super hard to pull you back up to the center. Good, yeah, really nice guys. Already, because we have that core engaged, we are using it super efficiently. We should be starting to get a little bit of a sweat on. Good, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go on to exercise number one. So copy paste that feeling, that squeezing throughout every exercise and we are gonna have an awesome abs session today. But our first exercise is designed to just get us nice and warm. So we are going to do a knee crunch in and then you're going to tap opposite elbow to knee. Just like so, taking your time. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. Knee crunch it, opposite elbow to knee. Good, take these at your own pace. If you want to take them a bit faster, you can. You want to do them nice and slow to start off with for round one. That's cool too. I just want you to bring that heart rate up. Make sure you get those hands above your head though, on the knee crunch. Lovely. And keeping our core nice and tight is gonna keep us stabilized, secure. It's gonna warm up our abdominals, warm up our heart, our lungs, everything's working now. Last one on each side. Good, we're gonna drop down onto the floor for number two. We're coming down. We're gonna come into a reverse plank. So we can do this on slightly bent legs or completely straight legs, it's up to you. You can have those knees slightly bent just like me. If you want a bit of extra support, and we're gonna lift our legs up one at a time. Get it up nice and high. Reverse plank leg lifts. Good, our weight should be mostly in the palm of our hands and you should have those hips up nice and high. If you can't feel the core engaging, lift those hips up a little bit further, push them up higher to the sky. Amazing guys, five seconds left. Keep lifting, three, two and one. Perfect, nice and easy, we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna do it in a regular plank. But this time, as we lift those knees up, you can do this on your elbows or your hands, completely up to you. I want you to lift the leg backwards and then tuck it into your chest. Good. Really nice, guys. Keep it nice and flat. Constantly thinking about that feeling of squeezing the abdominals. Squeeze the belly button up to the ceiling and then up towards your rib cage. These should not be rushed. We're taking our time. We're making sure they're efficient. They're working, they're doing the job. Good, final repetition. 
Lovely. Bring it back. Stretch it out a little bit. Just like so. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do a side plank. Now, I want us to do our side plank, if we can, up on our hands because it's going to challenge our core a little bit more. If you need to, you can do it down on your elbow, but we're going to try and come up onto our hand. If you can, come up here. Good, because it is going to challenge your core a little bit more. Now, challenge, whether you're on your hand or your elbow, can you test yourself? Can we take our leg up? Can we hold it up? Good. One foot planted on the floor. We're going to hold it here. Now you're going to really need to engage that core for this because this requires some serious concentration. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Really nice, guys. Good. Okay, so next one, we've got some Russian twists. So we're going to do a Russian twist with an ankle tap. So I want you to take <coughs> those legs out <coughs> nice and wide. You're going to go twist, twist, and then you're going to tap, tap, and then get low. Twist, twist, coming up, tap, tap. So we're working our obliques. You're doing a small crunch. Twist, and then tap it, tap it. Good. So come up and tap the ankles. You can pick up the pace a little bit if you want to for this one. As long as we're still going through the motions of engaging our core, of course. Give me one more. Lovely. Okay. We're going to come round into that lovely bear crawl position. Nice flat back like we have in our plank. Except this time, we're coming up onto our toes like so. So our knees are hovering just above the floor. If this is a little bit too strenuous, pop those knees back down. But we're going to do an ankle tap. So we're going to come back, tap the ankle, tap the other ankle. And then knee to chest, knee to chest. Tap. Tap, knee to chest, good. And for this one, I do want us to pick that pace up a little bit. I don't want us to sacrifice our form. Our form should still be good, but I do want us to try and get a little bit of speedy movement with this. Good, well done guys, keep it up. And in, in. Give me one more, tap, and bring it in, bring it in, lovely. Coming back round onto our bums. We are going to come back as far as we can from here now. So sitting up nice and straight, back nice and elongated, head to the ceiling. We're going to lean it back as far as you can go. Aiming to get that lower back as close to the floor as you can. You can put your hands down if you need to, very lightly, because we're going to take our legs. They're going to come in, they're going to extend, and then they're going to lower. In, extend, and lower. Lovely. So you're going to need to take time with these ones. And again, if you need to, you can just tuck it in and out like so, if the extend is, is causing you some trouble. Or you can put those hands Nice and lightly down behind you. Good, but we're trying to do this with our arms off. That's the challenge. That's where we're aiming to be. Last one. Good, okay, staying in this shape. We're gonna make a nice banana shape, which is very relevant, kind of matches my coloring today, a banana, but hey ho. So we're coming back again, trying to aim to get that lower back off the floor. We're gonna bring our legs up off the floor with us. Once again, if you need a little bit of extra support for your back or anything, you can pop your hands down. But from here, we're simply gonna pulse. Extra challenge, our arms off. We're gonna pulse here. 
Bounce it out. If you can't pulse, just hold it for me because you've got this. Keep it going. We are doing this together this morning as a team, so stay with me. Keep it nice and strong. And I'm going to remind you every time, squeeze that belly button to the floor. Squeeze it up towards the rib cage, And you're going to feel the intensity for three, two, one. Lovely. Really good, guys. Well done. Okay. We're going to lean back. We're going to come into a nice little glute bridge pulse now. So I know a glute bridge sounds a bit deceiving. It's called a glute bridge, right? You're thinking this works our legs, not our tummies, but it does work our abs as well. So I want you to start off by tucking just your pelvis up towards the ceiling. I want you to imagine you're squeezing your belly button down towards the floor as hard as you can, up towards your rib cage. And then you're gonna push it up to the ceiling, and then you're gonna come back down just to the pelvis tipped off the floor. We're not bringing our back flat or back onto the floor. Only our upper back is staying attached to the floor. Our pelvis is tilted the whole time. And I want us to move between these two positions nice and slowly. I want you to work on pushing those hips as high as you can up to the ceiling, squeezing that belly button as hard as you can back towards the floor and up towards your rib cage. Imagine you're zipping it up like you would a hoodie. Good, really nice guys. If you are really working that, that core, you should be feeling it just from this movement. Even though it doesn't feel too high impact, we are feeling it. And we're doing a little bit of lower back work here as well, which is great for balancing out the core. And one more. Good, really nice, relaxing. Well done, guys. We are flying through this. We are on exercise number 10 already. So we're gonna stay in this lovely position, which seems to be my favorite today. We're gonna have our heels lightly placed on the floor. You can have your hands back if you want to. You can have them off if you want to. But we're gonna tap our leg out to the side and bring it back to the center. Now I want you to lift it as high up as you can one at a time, and something, if you feel like, mm, this is too easy, I can't feel this one, then I want you to leave both of those feet hovering off the floor. Don't place them back on the floor in the middle. Keep them off. Good, really nice. Engage the core, hands off if we can too, or if you have got them down, don't place too much weight in them. Give me one more each side, we can do this. One and two, lovely, well done guys. Okay, grab a quick drink, I want you to rehydrate. I want us to stay hydrated. We're just gonna take a very, very quick break here. Take some time, catch your breath, hydration. So important that we're replacing those fluids. And then, big thumbs up when we're ready to go again. Lovely, lovely. Okay, we're going to be jumping back into our space. I'm going to put the timer back on zero. Are we ready? Last chance now that we're going to push through this. So, starting with exercise number one this time round, I want us to take up that pace. You're warm now. Get that pace up nice and high. So, knee and elbow. Let's go. Let's do this. We know what we're doing. We know how to engage our core. We are working hard, so let's get that pace up nice and high. Now that we are ready, now that we are prepared, mentally and physically, we're gonna absolutely smash this next round. And we're gonna feel amazing afterwards as well. That's the best part those endorphins, that confidence. I want you guys to walk out of this session today like, yes, the sun is shining and I am in shape. Last one. Lovely, down to the floor. Let's get straight down to it. Told you we're picking the pace up this time. So coming into that reverse plank. Heels lightly on the floor. You can have those legs straight. You can have them a little bit soft if you need to, but 
Either way, we're up here, hips are up, and we're lifting that leg off of the floor. Let's go. Good. Really nice, get it nice and high up. Lovely, guys. Hips up to the ceiling. You'll feel the difference if the hips are up, the core is almost going to automatically engage. Which means if you can't feel your core beginning to ache, your hips are not up high enough. So let's push, push, push. Awesome work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. We are coming round into that plank position. Same thing, our leg is kicking back, doing a leg lift, and then we are going to tuck it right into our knee. Are we ready? Nice and flat. Checklist, shoulders over wrists. Let's go. Tuck it in. Make sure we're not getting any lower back pain, not arching our back. Good. Knees coming right up to our chest. Giving us maximum crunch. Yes, yes, yes. I see fabulous things. Keep it going. Really nice. Can we start to feel that burn through our core now? I hope so. Because it gets that sweat going. Even though we're not, you know, doing high knees and star jumps. Who needs them when you've got some intense core stuff? Last one. Lovely, give it a little stretch out. Nice little stretch. Coming over, this time we're coming onto the other side. Side plank. Here we go, up on our hands if we can, or on our elbows if we feel more confident. Coming up, lovely. Start that checklist off, is that core engaged? You think so? Let's go, let's test it if we can. Legs coming off, good. Hold it nice and strong. Hips up still the whole time. Really good. All of these are adaptable to how comfortable we feel. We can be on our elbow. We can have both feet on the floor. Mix and match. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Really nice. Okay. We have got those ankle taps and bringing it in. So coming up into that nice bear crawl position. And from here, we're gonna tap, 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 and bring it into your chest, into your chest, let's go. Good. Give me some speed with it now. As fast as you can go without losing hold of that core strength. Pick that pace up. Yes, we are killing it. Let's keep going. Keep this energy high so you guys. You're fueling me through my workout as well. 10 seconds. You got this. Keep that back nice and flat. For three, two, and one. Lovely. Really nice. Russian twist next. Coming back. Lower it down as far as you can go. Test yourself. Can you get a little bit further this time? And you're going to twist it, twist it. Tapping across each ankle. We're crossing over to each side. Really nice, guys. Really good. Lovely. Keep it up for 20 seconds. You're halfway. When you go back for the Russian twist, I want us to get a little bit lower every time. If we can, we're getting lower and lower. Yes. One more. Final twist. Final tap. Really good. We know what is next. We got those tuck, extend, and lower. See, we're already at this point in our workout. That's how awesome we're doing right now. So we're lowering down again. The hands are back if you need them back. 
they're off if we can have them off and we're tucking it in extending and lowering down good take your time remember as well another option as well as hands-on is just to tuck the knees in and out to the chest like so when we do these things I want us to have no pain the only pain that we should be feeling is a little bit of an ab burn that's all we should have 10 seconds amazing control it control it contract squeeze you know the drill last one lovely okay back to that banana shake we're gonna get nice and low coming back feet are coming off creating a nice banana shake and we're gonna pulse it hands off or hands down up to you but if you are squeezing your core for this one I promise you oh my goodness it's an intense one but you got this believe in yourself have confidence you guys are smashing this so I do not want you to feel like you can never do anything just do the best that you can keep going really good pulse it out up and down nice and light for 10 more seconds keep that banana shape going five four three two one lovely give it a little huggy give the knees a little hug because we are feeling that burn we're coming down onto our back now we've got that pelvic floor and abdominal contractions going on our feet are planted nice and firmly in the ground we're going to tuck our pelvis up to the ceiling so just our lower back is coming up we're gonna from here we're gonna squeeze back and then zip it up right up to our rib cage and between here we're gonna go up and down nice and slow it's really important when we do our abdominals that we work our lower back also for some nice ba balance but we work our pelvic floor because pelvic floor muscles having a bit of strength there is so important in many many things for many reasons keep it going good you've got five seconds left take it nice and slow squeeze it all the way up bring it all the way down last one good well done guys we're on the final exercise already can you believe it bring it back again lower it down nice and low legs are out straight they're either lightly placed on the floor or we can have them off the floor as well and we're going to tap out making a lovely rainbow shape good control it take your time deep breaths we don't want to hold our breath we want to use our breath to help our core strength good take one leg at a time lovely five seconds left we're so close now three two one well done guys loads of virtual high fives going around for each and every one of you right now that was awesome I hope we're feeling it but we're going to stretch it out we're going to cool it down so take a drink quickly just before we stretch rehydrate if you have some water near you we're going to come straight round onto all fours our hands and knees just like so good we're going to stretch up both our abs and our back so take your head and your bum right up to the ceiling for me take a big inhalation and as we exhale we're going to squeeze it we're going to contract we're going to push everything up to the ceiling we're pushing our back our shoulders hold it here good and again you're going to bring it all the way up to the ceiling taking a nice big breath in you're going to take it all the way in tuck that pelvis and that chin under good this time i want you to give it a little rock 
Rock it backwards and forwards, nice and slowly. Nice little rock. Good, whatever feels natural. Lovely, and bring it into the centre, tipping it back up to the ceiling. And again, I want you to give it a nice little rock, maybe side to side, maybe back and forwards, whatever feels natural. And final time, you're going to bring chin and pelvis down into the chest, curling it under, and we're going to pull it all the way back so that our bum comes onto your hour heels. Lovely. And we're going to extend a bit further. We're going to get our chest down to the floor. Our bum is going to come up in the air. Just get your chest as close to the floor as you can. And then you're going to come all the way so that you're flat on the floor. From here, we're going to push up either onto our elbows like so. Or if you can extend up onto your hands with nice soft elbows, come up a little bit higher to here. Good, for the stretch needed, then we're going to take the head back up to the side, but this is optional. Take a couple of deep breaths, and then lower down. We're going to come back into puppy pose, so chest to the floor, bum into the air. Good, and then bring it all the way back so it's back on our heels again. And relax, lovely, well done. We smashed that this morning. Hopefully we were nice and sweaty, but we weren't getting any heat ex exhaustion going on. I wanted to make sure we we avoided any of that whilst, uh, whilst we were working out today. But you did really awesome. And hopefully I'll see you guys. I have Friday dance tomorrow where we shake away our stress. Woo! At 10.15 tomorrow morning. Or I will see you for a double trouble session on Saturday, 9.30 and 10 a.m. where we'll, we'll complete our week with legs and arms. Thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely day. I hope you get out and enjoy the sunshine at some point today. See you soon. Bye.